Hi, Super uh, 1938 Superman. Uh, it, I understand where you're coming from as far as a challenge to the middle. Your challenge to the middle video. Uh, the the thing that I don't think that anybody has addressed is the fact that nobody invited Christians to come and blaspheme the Holy Spirit. The idea was for atheists to come and deny the Holy Spirit, get a DVD, and just to dis to discuss atheism with other people, uh, not necessarily to attempt to deconvert anyone, but more of a, and I, uh, I've seen this on several videos, and, and my own video represents this too, the fact that uh, we're in the minority, uh, and we're the last hated minority. Uh, in fact, if you look at it from that perspective, it's still okay to hate atheists. And, and I think you can, I think that can be evidenced by the number of comments that I'll probably get on this video uh, from some of your theistic friends that say, oh, you know, calling me names, uh, denigrating my moral values, uh, questioning my ethics, and, and so forth. And, and, and then uh, they won't even spend the time to try to listen to the video and understand that I'm saying that we can still be separate you know, we go to, you know, we, we only go to the videos where someone invites the discussion. The majority of us, the majority of the atheist community on YouTube, we only go to videos where people invite the discussion. We don't go into proselytize or, or do anything harmful to anyone. Uh, we're there to discuss everything. We're, we're not there to threaten anybody. We're not there to say, oh, you know, you Jesus freaks are all going to die. No. Uh, nobody wants that. Nobody wants that at all. No one that I know wants that. The, the, the prospect of YouTube is that we can have, a, we can have some kind of unity uh, amongst our minority, our ideological minority. And that's where, that's where the blasphemy challenge came in. It, it's a common ground. Um, it's not necessarily an attack on anyone. It's an attack on a an ideology, a religious ideology that all of us typically share an aversion towards. Uh, Christianity is the easiest one to point out because it's the predominant one in our society in America. So that's why the the Bible verse was taken from Mark. 329. There are several other to support, several other verses to support them. The, but that's not the point of it all. The point of it all was to show a common ground amongst the atheist community. It's not a, it's not anything attacking anyone. Just because we don't believe in their Messiah, doesn't mean that they need to come to us and say, oh. You, you bunch of jerks, you know, you, you need to stop this, you know, you're being disrespectful. Well, we're not being disrespectful to them. We're being disrespectful to a religion, to an idea that people have clung to for 2,000 years, and all we want is the human race to support itself. Uh, if you look at the world, we're doing great things, we're doing awesome things. Humanity doesn't need a religious base to base improvement of our society on. If anything, it, it, a belief in a, 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 relig a deity of any kind or a messiah seems to denigrate the value of human life. And that's where we come in with, uh, we're, we're just confused about why anybody would want to do that. You know, so so it, for some of us, it starts off as anger uh, towards religion. It's never been anger towards a person. In for me, with regard to my with my atheism, uh, it, it, some people have had horrible experiences with the church, 
and and, and with every religion that they've e tried to experience. Uh, so so from the middle of the perspective, it's not the atheist community that is showing a disrespect. Uh, it's the comments that we're getting on our videos that show a disrespect for us in our efforts to try to unify a, an atheist group. You know, that's the part that I don't think anyone's addressed or, or even thought of. Uh, it, it, they seem like just because we're blaspheming against their Holy Spirit that we're, you know, calling them turds or something. And that, we we don't want that. We want them to to look at our side of the issues. We've already looked at theirs. We've already uh, everybody that I know has some basis in Christianity, and, and that's where that's where it's like we're not lying when we've already examined this. You know, this is the new way that we're thinking. This is our way of thinking now because that didn't work. So, uh, it's for us. The, the sheer egomaniacal attitudes that we're, front, that we're faced with, especially with theists, especially with Christians, that everything that we say is about them, it, it just blows my mind. Uh, so now I'm in my incredulous phase in the fact that I, I don't understand why we get the comments that we get. You know, if anything, they're being the most non-Christian individuals that I've ever seen in my life. Uh, all the way down to death threats? Where in the Bible does it say to go kill atheists? You know, I, I mean, vengeance is the Lord's, right? According to the Bible. So, so, why not just leave us alone? Why not show respect for us and leave us alone? to do our blasphemy challenge by ourselves and we invite you to come to the to the website to come to anybody's website that's in here uh, we invite you there for the discussions we you know we're not going to shut you out we're going to give you a chance to present your side of the argument chances are we've already heard it we've already been experience, been exposed to several types of irrational behavior regardless of theistic belief so you know that's the respect part we're offering respect we're offering the opportunity to come and debate us to come and discuss these issues with us so uh, you know when when respect is something that has to be earned and that's not just for you you know you don't you, no one is just to, to be expected to have respect for someone else, you know, that that's absurd. You know, I don't expect you to respect my video here. I, you know, you're asking for reasons, I'm giving you the reasons. So, there's the middle ground. There's the middle ground. You don't want us to blaspheme the Holy Spirit, but yet there can be 50 million videos about Jesus and all this other stuff that we leave alone, you know, unless invited in the discussion. So, we're doing the exact same thing that has been done uh, by by the opposite side. We're, we're unifying ourselves and we're offering the chance for discourse. And that's that's the idea of respect. The The fringe members of both sides should calm down I completely agree however one must remember that the fringe sides on both sides of the issues the fringe the people on the fringe of reality are probably forced into that situation and so a, a degree of disregard I suppose we could you know we could disparage them but why not just let them go ahead and post their excrement and then just wipe it away? Uh, so it's really a discussion between intelligent, rational individuals on both sides. And that's what the point of it is. 
and we're inviting the discussion. But in the same respect, we don't expect you to come on and tell us that we're wrong and just assert that with a base assertion. Come on and tell us we're wrong. Why? And uh, as far as respect goes, we're showing respect in the fact that if we didn't care about humanity, we wouldn't be addressing the problems with theism. And, and that's the stance of my colleagues and, and anyone that I'm associated with on here. So that's 10 minutes. I'm done. <laughs> Close to 10 minutes. You have a nice day.